Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, we're going to be continuing our fencing project that we've been working on. Uh, you've probably seen some of the videos. Uh, hopefully if you haven't, uh, check them out. We'll put some things up there for you. And uh, so uh, today we're going to be working on our corner brace. And the corner brace is going to be pretty much where I am standing. So it's going to come... Uh, the fence is going to come from there, and there's going to be a post about right here, and another post over here somewhere, and then a gate over there. And when we get to the gate, I'll move you over there and let you see that. Uh, so what we're using for our corner post is uh, our metal T-posts. And uh, let's see if I can get one for you. I got one right over here. So uh, here's, a, here's a metal T-post, and it has these... Uh, you know these little nubbins on here I'm sure you've seen these before this one happens to be painted all white uh, mrs. Cadence decided she wanted the metal posts that are painted green and white to match our white uh, PVC uh, posts from timeless fence systems which by the way we love those and uh, so these are the American T posts I think there's a Canadian version too I'm not sure what the difference is but there's some kind of difference because the wedge lock bag here this is wedge lock brand and uh, uh, the uh, we're we learned about these from uh, who is that mrs. Cadence living traditions homestead living traditions homestead uh, made a video about these wedge lock devices and I'll put a link kind of down below somewhere uh, maybe an Amazon kind of link or something I think that's where we got them from and uh, so we'll put those on our T posts and our um, our T posts are going to act as our, our corner brace. So let me get you in here and show you a little bit better picture. Let's see here. Oh, there. That's a really good picture. So this is what it's going to look like. Uh, so there's the corner post there. There's a T post and T post T post. So it's going to take five T posts. One, two, three, and then four, five, the two diagonal ones. And then, uh, so all these little wedge lock devices um, are, going to, are going to attach to the T-post. So uh, this goes on the post first, this, this little ring thing here. And then uh, this wedge lock device, it's called wedge lock, uh, goes on there and locks in this, this piece to the T-post. And then you either put this piece on going up see this is going up now or you'd flip it around and you put it on like this going down so those different angles give you the 60 degree sockets that they show uh, right there so that's going down this one is going up so let's get started All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the uh, this T-post here that's going to be our uh, one of the, uh, not corner, but the end posts. And uh, what that's going to have is, uh, just imagine one of these going up at a diagonal like this uh, to the neck, to the actual corner post. So that's just where we're going to start uh, because... In our case, you eventually, ultimately, we would start in the corner, but we already know where we want to end, so I'm going to start here. Uh, so we're going to put this one right up against our other, our timeless fence system post here, because the the wedge lock system uh, does not interface with the timeless fence posts, at least the ones we have. They might sell some that it works on, but we don't have that, so it, it doesn't really matter. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna drive this in. I've got my my T-post driver here, and uh, a word of caution when you're using one of these in metal T-posts, just to be careful not to beat yourself in the head, like I did once. And uh, so you want to stand kind of to the side. So if it does catch, it doesn't catch and come this way. So what happened was uh, the post driver was like this, and it caught caught like that, and uh, and came. Came, it actually caught right there. That's what it was. Yeah, it caught right there and came over like that and hit me in the head. So anyway, so I'm going to stand to the side and leave the little nubbins facing toward my corner post. And uh, that way it won't, uh, it won't catch and hurt again. So. I'm going to 
to try to drive it down in there kind of straight. There we go. Uh, let's see here. All right, a little bit more there. Yep. So I'm going to drive it down until the, uh, the little metal plate down there is, uh, at least this, the top part is, is flush with the ground. So that's not exactly straight with the other post, but we're just going to kind of bend it over there and get it get it straight with it. There we go. Got it. So next up, the, the directions say to measure from here or from your corner post, uh, whatever the length of your post is, minus 14 inches. And on, on our T-post, not not all of them are like this, but on our T-post, from the bottom of the post to the top of this little plate right here is exactly 14 inches. So 14 inches from here to here. And so what I'm going to do is use this as a kind of a template for both of them. And uh, that way I know where to drive the next post in. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, from, from there over to here, about right here, you've got... Uh, the minus 14 inches so our T post needs to be driven exactly right there and so I've got this line we set up right here to give us you know a nice straight something to work with so we kind of get everything square with our with our other fence so I've got this set right where I need it that's exactly one T post length minus 14 inches it says 12 to 16 on the package but that's uh, that's exactly right in the middle of that 12 to 16. So let's see here. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to the side of this thing again and I'm gonna put the uh, put this post in the ground. Here we go. All right, well, like I did last time, I went ahead and drove it down to where that little metal flange is below grade. So now we have our, our other post in. We can go ahead and start getting our wedge lock system installed. So I'm going to get you in a little closer so you can see how that goes in. So I've got the bottom bracket installed, and now we're going to work on putting this top one in. So I'll show you how we do that. We're going to need a few pieces. We're going to need this little guy here, uh, this little collar ring thing, and then here's the actual wedge lock piece. We're going to need one of those. And we're actually going to need two of these little angle doodads. I'm sure they have a name. Um, so uh, we're going to slide, slide this down, the T-post here, to where we would like the, uh, the actual bracket to be attached and it looks like it's going to kind of work out to be right there so what I'm doing I'm just going to slide this on here straight hopefully get it on there and uh, that, yeah that's going to give me an idea that I need to have the collar in between these guys right here right where I've got it so that's kind of just give me an idea of where I need to get started so oh, there we go so what we'll do is we'll we'll get started by putting the the ring on there first and then we've got our wedge lock here so we slide that behind it and get that started I had to kind of twist it around there to try to get it to fit where it should go there we go all right so I've got it kind of so I've got it started with it in the uh, in the recessed area behind the nubbins and I've got the wedge lock in behind it let me get you on the other side so you can see that so here's the wedge lock behind the actual ring here so you can see that's how it actually latches into the post so I just started it by hand and now I'm just gonna tap it down in there 
Uh, so what I was doing, I have to kind of work it back and forth because it kind of gets itself locked in there. There it goes. So that's it. So now this this is locked in nice and tight. It, it can't really it can't move anywhere unless I drive this this collar back out or the wedge lock back out. So now this little guy here this guy here goes on the uh, on this side of the the bracket so that we can get the other t-post in here for the angle so let me show you how that goes in there got everything installed here on the uh, corner post and now I've got to get this bracket put on here so this needs to go at an angle going down like that going down like that and this needs to hook in underneath of it this is going to put a little tension on the on the system here so that's okay that's kind of what we want and so it's kind of a kind of a tricky deal getting it started but once it gets started it goes on in there so that's it just like that now it's latched in there and that's already i can feel is uh it's got pretty good tension on it so uh the other the other end post and uh bracket going the exact same way so let's go ahead and get those installed So there you go. Uh, that went in really easy. Hopefully that's the way it's supposed to go. It's the way it went for us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got we've got our collar in back here. We've got our brackets in here, and this I mean this is this is tight. I can hardly move that. Uh, so and then this this is going to have you know a little bit of tension there, but uh, that's great. Yeah, this is uh, this turned out this turned out really really well. Yeah, so here's we're going to use these insulators uh, around the outside edge of the T posts around here and around here. And these these worked out pretty nice. Um, so that this is going to be Mrs. Cadence found these somewhere. So these can clip on and they wrap all the way around a. Uh, t-post like that or they can go on the side like this or they can go on the front like this so they can go in any orientation on the t-post so that's pretty nice so we're going to use that for the wire to go around but next up next up for us is putting a wooden post in right over there uh, we got to move the dog crate there or the, the dog and the crate and uh, this gate right here that we have is going to go in in place of right here. So we're going to start digging a hole over there in the ground.